Hey everybody, Mark here, Diane, Sarah in the back. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go by in Thatcher here. It's right next to uh, Safford. There's a, a, a Mormon prophet that uh, he's a like a, you know one of the the head of the church. Um, his name was Spencer W. Kimball, and uh, he lived right up the right up the street, right up here. Um, I got a little bit of info on him here. He was born in 1895 in Salt Lake City, and uh, when he was two, they moved to Thatcher. Well, like I say, Thatcher is just right by Safford where we live. I mean, it's just all connected together. But uh, this house here, he uh, he lived here for a lot of years. Then when he got married, he finally he moved moved to uh, Safford and had a house. I think I put it in one of my other videos. But just did the lawn today. I saw the boys, and then they sprayed all the weeds. This is the house right here, and it's a really nice house. This is it right here, and he lived here for quite some time. Pretty nice. I'm gonna try and get it into focus there. Sorry about the wind, guys, but uh, here's a little plaque that they put out here for him. You know, it says uh, when when he was called to preside over the. St. Joseph Stake in 1898, church members provided 10 acres on which he built this adobe and brick home in 1902. He helped make the 12,000 adobes. His son, Spencer W. Kimball, 12th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, lived here from age 7, is when they moved in this house, until his marriage at the age of 22. And let's see. Um... Okay, and it says he lived here at the age to Camellia Irene of Pima. Upon Andrew's death in, eight, in 1924, Jesse A. Udall, later a justice of the Arizona Supreme Court, purchased this home. So, it's and it's been around. You know, I mean, there's been a lot of, I think a lot of different people live in it. It's really nice, though. But it's uh, it's part of Adobe and, and, you know, it's been added on to and stuff like that. But it's got a really nice yard stuff like that and when he lived here um, I guess the church at the time or they didn't have a church uh, so when he when he got baptized when he was eight he uh, he got baptized right down here in the canal and it's right down this way I'll, when I drive by there I'll, I'll show it to you but the canals right down here and they just baptized him in there so it's pretty cool but uh, that's a pretty pretty good sized house Right up here's the canal. I'm not sure exactly what area, you know, they baptized him in or, or uh, the exact spot, but it's right there. And in a, in a picture, I'll show you in a little bit. It, it's I think it's like on this back road right up here. But uh, that's the canal. It runs through through Thatcher. Like I said, apparently they didn't they didn't have a uh, a baptismal t baptismal font to do it in at that time. Because um, what does it say, 1902, I think is when he moved in that house and he was seven years old at that time. So they, they normally get baptized at eight years old. I think it was actually probably right up, right up here. But uh, there was an old church later built. And I mean, it was really, really pretty. It had like a winding stairway on both sides, it had big columns on it. It was just a really, really nice building and uh, it caught fire and then shortly after the college which was a super nice building too old old real fancy looking building it caught fire so i don't know kind of weird it happened you know I don't, I don't know how close together it happened but both of them caught fire and then they were and that was during my time you know because they were I, I when i was a kid and scouts and stuff like that we used to you know we used to be over in that area and go to go in that church sometimes or in the in the the scout leader was a teacher at the college there, so we'd go in that building and talking about the college, and uh, it burned down. So, anyways, it's pretty pretty neat though. That house is really nice. It's a it's a well built house. It's stood the test of time. You got all these brand new houses that are have to be re remodeled, and that thing's been remodeled. It's been quite a while back, but pretty nice house. Check out all the rain, man. It's crazy. Going over to that house in Thatcher. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot to take that movie back. Look at that. The mountains catching all that water over there. It's pretty nice. Nice and cool today. It's down to 87 right now. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? We're heading to, uh, we're taking an intermission. We're heading to Taco Bell. The uh, the Diamondbacks, what is it? They got to get five runs? If the Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks get five runs, I think it's the next day, or however they work it, next day, I think. They, uh, you get three tacos and a drink, and all you pay for is the drink. And you can tell that uh, that's today, because it is busy. So we're gonna brave this place and go in there. Hey, everybody. I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, Spencer Kimball, the, the Mormon prophet of the house we, we looked at. He, uh, I told you a little bit, he was, he was uh, seven when they moved in that house. And he lived there until he was married. I believe he was 22. He was 22 when he, when he moved out. Uh, let's see. He began his married life in, in the Gila Valley, where over time he, he became successful in business. He was eventually called to serve as stake president of the Mount Graham Stake in 1938. He and his family left Arizona when he was called as a member of the, the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in 1943. And if you don't know about that, and I don't, I'm, I'm not a, a wizard on that stuff, but there's 12 apostles. And, you know, whenever they, they choose a prophet, they choose from those 12. So, let's see, he, uh, Elder Kimball was called at the same time as Ezra Taft Benson, who would eventually succeed him as president. So when he died, uh, Ezra Taft Benson took over. And, if I can turn the page here, hang on a second. Let's see. Okay. And, let's see, uh, President Kimball, he was the 12th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 1973 to 1985. That's a long time. He was, he was there for quite a while. Um, let's see. That's, that's all I really have on him. Um, he, uh, but he lived mo you know, a lot of his life in, in Safford and Thatcher. When he was married, he had a house in Safford. But here is the canal in the picture here where he got baptized so and then the house you know there's the house again right there but uh, so that's about all I know of it but that's it, kind of cool you know he's from here and uh, being the, the the prophet of the church that's a that's a big big deal you know so he was a really high up guy he was the head church over all the LDS churches so I hope you enjoyed it a little little information uh, I will chat with you later, and you guys have a good one. Um, hopefully this weekend we're going to be going to uh, the Garlic Festival here over over by uh, Texas Canyon where all the, all the rocks and stuff are at that I hit in an earlier video. So we will see you then. Thanks. Bye.